Alexa, turn on TV. Hello guys, this video is all about how to mirror your iPhone, iPad, and your MacBook Pro to Fire TV Cube. So we are going to download the apps. We are going to, to search the air screen. So type in air screen there. And then download that air screen. Press download. So as soon as it's downloaded already, open the app and then uh, it will say there how to use it. We go to start now. And then there, there's a side menu there. Scroll down and go to settings. Open the settings. Scroll it down and then go to AirPlay and make sure that check box there is checked go back scroll up and then press the start then let's go to the iPhone swipe it up on the iPhone press the screen mirroring and then you will see this AS here that stands for air screen press that and then it will connect there there you go so um, whatever you open here in your iPhone it will mirror there in your big screen TV so let's say YouTube and then um, try this one here so in air screen apps you don't need to turn this to the full screen so no need for that and good thing about this air screen apps you can still use your uh, fire tv cube remote to control this with, without control controlling the iphone let's say you pause it you can uh, pause it play or uh, skip there. So, if you want to stop mirroring on your phone, swipe it up, then press the screen mirroring, and then press that stop mirroring, and then it will disconnect there. So, let's go to the iPad same thing uh, on the iPad Pro you can swipe it down find this screen mirroring once you find it press it and then look for AS that stands for air screen and then it will connect so once it's connected whatever you open here the apps here in your iPad it will open there in your on your big screen TV let's say let's go to um, YouTube again so there it's connected now Still the same, you can control the pause and play on your, uh, on your uh, remote, play, you can skip, or uh, you can pause again, 
Tapos, ito sa ating yung kilo. Bread. Ay, ang sarap. There. Diba? You can go to photos there. That's my uh, daughter, two daughters, Leanne and Chinibel. So, as soon as you are done, if you want to disconnect it, you can swipe it down, press the screen mirroring and then press this to stop mirroring and then it, it will disconnect so now if you want to connect your macbook pro go to the upper a portion of the screen on the right side of the screen of the, your macbook pro find the airplay press the airplay and then you will see it will appear here the as that stands for air screen press it and then it will connect there. So now it's connected to the, your uh, MacBook Pro to the big screen. The big advantage on this, if you have a small screen, because of you're using the MacBook Pro, you can connect it there, especially when you're editing your video. So it's more advantage because you are editing in the bigger screen. Let's open again the Google, go to YouTube, and then there. We have a bigger screen now. Ang video natin ngayon is what's in my purse. Whatever you open in your MacBook Pro, it will uh, mirror to your big screen. So uh, if you want to disconnect now your, your MacBook Pro to your big screen, go to AirPlay and then stop the AirPlay to disconnect. So now it's disconnected. So once you're done with uh, mirroring, press the back button or or the home button on your uh, remote, and then you can uh, go to YouTube or Netflix or Prime Video if you want to watch movie or Amazon Music if you want to uh, listen to the music. So. That's all guys, uh, I hope you like this video and that's how easy it is to connect or to mirror your iPhone, your iPad or your MacBook Pro to Fire TV Cube. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, see you on our next video.